Hello, this is Dalen75 Games. Welcome back to another Project 1999 guide. We are in West Common Lands today. Yes, I started by saying that correctly this time, unlike the last video. All right, uh, so this is actually a zone I do like. I like it a lot because, um, well, there's not too many people around, and uh, it's I think it's good for round level 10, 10 to 14 or so, maybe even up to 16, I guess, if you can go hunt the derves. But uh, looking at the map here, I mean, it's not that much in the zone. Uh, I think most of the traffic in the zone is people going to and from Kithikar and uh, definitely the Druid Circle and the Wizard Spire. Um, or is it the Wizard Ziggurat, whatever it is, Wizard Temple. Uh, I, I need to kill some of these Will-O-Wisps. I forgot that I'm running on a uh, just one a light stone, not a, a greater light stone. So I'll do that after the video, I guess. I've been meaning to do that for a long time. And there's tons of Will-O-Wisps around here. They're, what, around level 8, 7, 8, 9? I think they're actually 9. So, yeah. Those are fun to kill, too, when you're around the level. And you can get some money off of selling the stones to vendors. Or even, actually, no, you should save them for players. The graders, you can get... Uh, I was getting 10 plat per selling them to other players. This is a very commonly... I got turned around there for some reason. Very commonly camped area for the guards... Uh, the guards are green to me, so I'm well past that time. Uh, yeah, so I usually see it's either, uh, usually ne necromancers, but this is a, a, a magician here right now. And there's lots of black bears, or uh, Kodiaks, uh, lesser Kodiaks and greater Kodiaks out here. And you can also sell their pelts, um, the good quality pelts, like high quality pelts. It's just a black bear. Yeah, the players in the neighboring zone of East Common Lands, there's Almost every time I'm there, especially when it's busy, um, you'll see players auctioning to sell or buy uh, coats, uh, animal coats. Uh, almost always bear coats. Here's an undead tower. Um, let's continue on, and there's there'll be a few things to the right. This is where the derves are, dervish cutthroat. I'm not sure what level these guys are. Probably around 12 to 15. It's my guess. Yeah, you can bring a group here. Ooh, I'm not. I don't have invisibility on for some reason. I had it on. I just don't want some greenie or some guard to get on my case. Uh, okay, so yeah, there's a bunch of derves here. I think that you can... I'm not sure if you pull like one and the, if the, all of them will come or just like this group here. Uh, you just have to be careful how you pull. I guess it's you have to learn, <laughs> learn how these things work. Like every zone, every zone has its uh, little quirks in the game. There's a lot of dead trolls coming up by the, the wizard, or sorry, the uh, druid circle. Yeah, so some of these druids are still red to me, and they are definitely KOS. They don't like Ixar. Bunch of racists. Okay, so, um, yeah. The uh, Wizard Spire is what I'm just going to call it for whatever the hell it's actually called. Probably go through in the map legend when I get to it. This is it right here. The thing that has that nice, weird sound. I'm sure if you guys can hear it. Oh, I can't even hear it. What the heck's going on? Yeah, I can barely hear it if I turn the volume all the way up. I think I, I have um, sounds down, certain sounds. Okay, so uh, continue on. And then there's Orc Camp coming up. This is my invisibility for some reason. There's a lake here. There's a bunch of humans around it. Uh, humans, barbarians. Supposedly the good, good or neutral races, whomever. I, I don't really, I mean, there's vendors, there's vendors over there, uh, and and and, and there's some, I, I don't know what this is, probably some vendor. She's red to me, she'd probably just destroy me if, if she could see me. And here's the orc camp. I, I don't know why, every time I come by here, it's always, somebody's wrecking the place, and, uh, yeah, what, what level is sl Slydeus Darkened Heart? Let's see. Yeah, 30. Uh, he's not getting experience. I think he's just doing it for the faction. So that's what I thought that, I mean, every time I go by there, there's somebody there way higher than what, you know, what they get experience for. So they're doing it for the faction. Now right around here, there is a wandering um, halfling. And I I know for a fact that it's for that one quest for uh, dark, dark elf clerics. 
you're supposed to bring the face of one of the halflings from Nectalos uh, to it. It's kind of nasty, but... Uh, or, or no, you kill him and you bring his face. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> you bring his head and the, the Dark Elf... Here he is. Well in Slyfoot. The Dark Elf that you re return the, the head to, he, he carves a mask out of the face and then you get to wear it, is it? Or do I have that backwards? Um, maybe this guy is the guy that gives you the report after you kill the one inside uh, ne uh, Neriak, actually. Yeah, there's a one. There's a little halfling inside Neriak. He's level 17, I think. When I took him on, I was he was yellow to me, and uh, I just barely survived. I had a high-level cleric that came to my... I called her to come help, and she agreed. And Though she was a few seconds behind me when I dropped down the pit, <laughs> the thing was having about a quarter of a health. Uh, by the time she showed up, healed me, and then proceeded to destroy it. So I'm not sure what... Uh, like, there's a human over here. Apparently, um, there's some shadowed men as well. The very corner. I think it's over here. I've never fought shadowed men before. A shadowed man, yeah. They can't see through invisible. They're not undead, then. All you can see is their weapons. All right, so that's in the very corner where the grass meets... Uh, southwest corner where the grass meets the, the sand. And, um... Let's go check out the human human area. Uh, there's really not much to read when it comes to what, what's on the wiki page for this zone. I think it's underused. I think it's a great place. Uh, well, I'd go higher, maybe 10 to even 18. Um, yeah, to fight all the guys, uh, little wanderers and the derves and the orcs and even the undead. So yeah, there's uh, an inn here buy alcohol. There's a big ass bear over here. Kodiak. Oh, uh, yeah, I forgot to mention there's some dark elf wandering guard who actually destroyed my uh, Ixar Shadow Knight. I was, what was I doing? I think I was sitting there, in, uh, wasn't invisible. I was sitting there, I thought I was in a safe spot. It was just further, it's by Befallen. And he was probably around level 20 or so, or maybe even below that, maybe 18. I don't, I don't remember exactly what I was hunting. It was a long time ago. And uh, I went AFK, thinking I'm okay where I am. I came back, my guy's dead. <laughs> uh, you know, first thing that Shadow Knight... He's a, I believe he is a Shadow Knight, too. First thing that Shadow Knights always hit you with, uh, if it's available, is uh, Harm Touch. The NPCs do that, anyways. I don't see him, but I uh, suspect that he's pretty tough. I think he's in his 40s. So, uh, here's an Ixar necromancer. I'm not sure who he's hunting out here, but there's another inn, so there's two inns, and we're coming back up to that guard gate. And this guy always kind of bothered me, K Kizdian Gix. I think he is a Shadow Knight as well. Uh, he's not the one I'm talking about, though. There's like a, this guy is probably, what, 16, level 15, 16. The one I'm talking about is way higher. Um, yeah, I'm not sure what level he is exactly. I mean, he could be 25 for all I know, but I think he's in it. I suspect he's in his 40s. Okay, so there's like a, a lone hut here. I'm not sure what's going on. There's really not much else to the zone other than, um, oh, this hut's even listed as a, on the legend, so, sure. There's Moressa Sparkle. She's green. Oh, there's a human in there, player. Recovering, resting, hiding, I don't know. Yeah, but there's some undead that wander back and forth. There's a ghoul along the sand. Um, there's skeletons. And here is the entrance to Befallen. Uh, in my time, or my experience, it's always been a very underused dungeon. I think if you have uh, a decent group, just two or three people, you can go in there. Um, I'm not sure what level it starts. Maybe around level 9, the very entrance. I could be wrong. It could be level 12 at the entrance. Uh, but regardless, um, it could be a very good place. Just if you're in the entrance and there's somebody who goes in further, though, just be prepared that trains will come and they're really not much of a... There's no place to really hide from the train inside. I guess you could possibly do it, but you have to really go out of your way to do it, like back into one of the alcoves in the corner. And, uh, yeah, Undead can see through invisibility and stuff. So just keep that in mind. And, um, yeah, so Befallen, I'll do it another time. I'm going to go north uh, after this one into Nectalos and Neriak. And uh, is Lava Storm north of that? I actually have not even been there since uh, playing Project 99. I haven't been there since the classic days of 2000, 2001. So it's been a long time for that. So I'll go that way. 
Uh, we'll not be doing any place that I can't get into and, and fully check out. I don't want to go stand in the entrance of some dungeon and uh, sh <laughs> describe what little I know about it. Uh, I'd like to show parts of it. Uh, so that's going to mean there's going to be some ex things that I will not be able to show, such as um, uh, any, you know, any dungeon that I, I don't feel comfortable running through and I don't want to die died trying to show you guys. So that's pretty much it. So I'm going to just run around uh, while I read, briefly, read this less than a page of uh, the wiki story. The West Commonlands is a large open area that is the western continuation of East Commonlands. This area is significantly higher level than East Commonlands and many of the monsters here are both dangerous and aggressive. Dangers. This is an area, much like Northern and Eastern Karana, where many relatively low-level players travel through in order to go from Kenos to Freeport. It also has a large number of aggressive creatures that live in it, most notably the hill giants and Kodiaks, but the undead and werewolves also fit the bill. Aside from the above, low-level characters below 10th shouldn't really be in this zone at all, and travelers should stick to the path and keep an eye out for wandering aggressive creatures. The griffins and the hill giants will wander all over the zone and are surprisingly difficult to spot sometimes. Shadowed men are also here and are quite powerful, but they typically stay to their camp in the southwest corner of the zone. Uh, I know that there were uh, this like hill giant, some random hill giant, but I think I've maybe seen it once of all the time being in there in Project 99. I think somebody went and killed it. It's it's rare. It's not it's not there all the time and. Uh, I don't know about a griffin. I mean, I guess there is a griffin. I don't know. Maybe it's the same. Some rare spawn. I don't know. Benefits. The area is a good, solid, higher level hunting area. There are several camps that can be taken by groups of lower level characters, and most of the rest of the zone can provide good hunting for higher levels. It is also a great area to hunt Will of the Wisps in, and they start at 9th level. There are also several quests here that involve this region, and it is where the entrance to the Fallen exists quietly tucked away behind where the hill giants roam in the southern edge of the zone. Oh, that's where they are. Uh, no, I haven't seen hill giants roam around there. I, like I said, I just heard about somebody was talking in the uh, OOC a long time ago, probably a year or more back. Traveling to and from. West Common Lands is accept accessible from the west through the pass to Kithakor Forest in the northwest corner of the zone, to the east, and Freeport and Fedor beyond adventures can pass into East Commonlands. In a narrow, dimly lit tunnel off the southern edge lies the front entrance to the Fallen. Okay, so now let's look at the map. So this is definitely the shortest uh, Project 99 video I've ever done, and the shortest guide I've done. All right, so looking at the map, as you can see, is not full of stuff all over the place. Um, number one is Orc Camp. Two is Shop with Fishing Supplies. Three, Inn with Shields, Food, Alcohol, and Cloth Armor. Four, Ancient Pyramid, that's the Wizard Pyramid. Five, Stone Rings with Druids. Six, Empty Hut. Seven, Cutthroat Dervish Camp. Eight, Haunted Tower. Nine, Toll Booth Guardhouse. Ten, Inn with Food, Alcohol, and Cloth Armor, Bags, and Boxes nearby. Eleven, Hut with Metals. Note, there is a group of five shadowed men that appear by the southwest corner of the zone near the border between the sand and the grass. Note, there are Dark Elf Camps located at plus 1,000, plus 3,170, minus 885, uh, plus 3,600, and plus 1,015, negative 850. Oh, yeah, that's not on the map, I don't think. Yeah, it's, it's not even listed as a number. What would that one be? Um, well, the first one... Really, it's, so I think it's west of the Orc Camp, actually. I don't remember seeing that. I didn't know that there were Dark Elf Camps. Okay. Well, maybe there's... I don't know what level they are. It doesn't say here. Um, I'd have to go check that out, actually. That's kind of interesting. All right. I have my Greater Lightstone after killing about half a dozen of them. And uh, Gnatic helped with that. Yeah, all my pets are green now, I guess, since Light Blue has been taken out. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> I think... Uh, I'm not sure what level they are. Like, 28? 30 pets, uh, I guess for your 39 shaman spell. But uh, I'm close to actually 44 of the next set of spells. It'd be kind of cool if I got got them. I should uh, maybe go over to uh, some place that will give me experience. Yeah, the, these things die so fast. All right, so that's it for the zone. We're going to head over. I'm going to head over Freeport and bind some guy. And um, 
I guess I'll end the video here, guys. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.